Hey, what's up everybody? It's Brandon here. I'm going to bring you a toy, uh, Marvel Legends toy review of X-Force Deadpool. So this is Wave 3, the new wave that just came out. And here's a little 360 of the character. There we go. I don't know if they come like this, but I actually did this because I like the way... Actually, no, they came the other, the opposite way and I switched them to get that crossover because I love that. And there you go, there's his little weapons. Go... Alright, so first, let's talk about the accessories. So let's pull out the accessories. Oop, that one died. And, let's, oh, yeah, just to let you know, guys, these two swords that he has on his back are completely removable. So don't worry if they fall out. You didn't break it. See that? Little indents. Big plug. Plug it right back in there. There you go. Pink. Wait. There you go. Right back in there. Not coming out. Let's put them aside. Let's look at these swords for a second. So, there you go. These swords look awesome. Let's pull them out. See how they look. Shiny, huh? So, there you go. I like the little details that you have here. And at the tip, same thing goes on for here. One thing I don't like, uh, with my shitty camera can't pick it up, but right there and right here, there's numbers. I can't stand it when I see that on toys. But Hasbro continues to do it, so... I don't know what to do. <laughs> Can't scratch it off, right? <laughs> yeah, buffer machine. So first, let's look at his tiny little pistol. This is the same pistol that comes with the Punisher and the two-pack Nick Fury, which is the ultimate Nick Fury. So let's put that back. And he has a little holster right here on his side that you can put it back in. So let's just do that. There you go. And then you have this gun. This gun is nice. I've seen it too many times. I own like three of these already. The only difference now is that he they have Hasbro painted in this red, and it's nice. It looks nice, but ah, uh, where's that that insignia? That Deadpool insignia, man. I wish I wish they would have painted it on like they did in the two pack, but nope. Then he comes with the shitty base. Um, this base is um the same thing that we got with the the Avengers line. Which is, you know, just with the A here, which, you know, is, means nothing to me. You can stack these, you can put them together. Yeah, it looks cool, whatever, but no points in them. So let's get on to the figure itself. So let's put these back in. I'm going to leave that machine gun off for a minute, just so I could review them without it. So here we go. Here we got Deadpool, looking all X-Force awesomeness. So first, let me see these. Let's just look at the head scope for a second. That, that head, it's great with those red eyes, menacing red eyes, you know, that the, all the, you know, all those X-Force guys have, and, you know, he has that X right there for the X-Force, which is awesome. These boots, I love these boots. They're so, like, iconic Deadpool with that. Ah, oh, man, it's just great. So, let's go over the articulation. Let's start at the head. So, the head moves up and down, right to left, left to right, right, 360 degrees all the way around. Right, so if you want to see that again, there you go. And up and down, right? He has these little, you can't really see it because of my bad camera, but right here, he has a little shoulder joint. So right there, you can kind of flex him. I like that Hasbro does that on certain guys. I wish they did it on more figures, but, you know, it gives it a little bit more realism. You know, a realistic feel for when you're posing him, you know? You can stretch out, put it in, stretch out, pull it in, right? So, um, then let's start at the arm. Both arms have the same kind of articulation. So, you can go up and down. You know, little thing right there. And then he can spin 360 degrees all the way around, right? He has a little um, upper arm joint up here that allows him to spin. Double jointed arms. Um, elbows, excuse me. Right? Then comes out and he can, he has a little wrist articulation right there. Little wrist joint tried pulling it out doesn't come out like other figures in them um, since the return of the Marvel Legends but no it doesn't come out it's fairly stuck in there then um you have the, the ab crunch right there which you know I've been missing on certain toys then we have um oh the waist swivel which is another thing that we've been missing too then we have the Y joint in the in the here up here in the upper leg and I hate it see like it bends and then you gotta click it in and it's uh, such a pain in the ass I hate it but yeah so then he moves right here 
Little thigh joint, right? Double jointed knees, bends in, right? And then we have the boots, these glorious boots. No, um, that calf swivel that we've been seeing on certain toys like this, you know? You see this? This is um, the Bucky Cap from Wave 2. You know, you see this? This was nice. I, I wish, you know, you see that? It has this full range of motion that you can almost get them to the broken ankle point. You know? I wish, you know, we could have got that on, on this guy. But, nope, nothing. And um, this harness is removable. Same thing with this. And, um, but yeah, he, he pops it out. You know, you can pop it in, pop it out. He can turn 360 degrees. Um... Yeah, so now that I, I like the toy, I love the head scoped, I love this back here, I love the the paint apps, you know, how he has like that little shading of dark, of, is that like a darker gray, with a, and then with the black, and then the black, you know, and then these perfect lines here, man. You know, all around this toy is, is great, but few minor problems. One, I have a hard time getting this gun to stay, or getting his finger to get into that trigger hole without it looking a little funny, you see that? Looks a little off to me. Like he's not, his finger's not in there. You know? Like it's not coming out to the other side. Ah, but that's a minor gripe. I don't really care about that. He holds the other gun pretty well, too. Let's put that other gun in there. But once again, that finger's just poking out. It's not in there. It's not in that hole. Why? Because it's made for a different character. Alright, so let's put that back. Um, and then another big problem I have with this guy. See the sword? Sword wasn't made for Deadpool, so it kind of fits in there, right? And then it kind of doesn't. See, that just fell all the way down. Now it's up the floor. I can't find it. All right, I'll look for it in a minute. So there you go. And now let's try it with the other hand. Oh, took this little sheaf off. So try it with the other hand. Nope, not again. See, so Hasbro, what's the deal with this? We could have. They could have just made this Deadpool come with different hands, two other hands, maybe close fist, then. A hand that's a little more, you know, smaller than this one, where we could, you know, more to a closed fist that we could have just put this right in there and it would have fit. What I ended up doing was buying um, a little bit of tissue paper, taking the tissue paper, throwing it in his hand, like a tiny bit, and then kind of molding the sword in there so it'll stay. But beyond that, it's not going to stay. But um, that's my review of um, of Marvel Legends X Force Deadpool. And, um, my, my say is go get one. If you want them part of your team, you know, you want them with the guns, you know, instead of the swords, you're gonna, you're gonna like this one. If not, if you want them holding the swords instead of the guns, I say go, oh, go on eBay and pick up the other one, man. Because this one will not hold those swords unless you do something else with it. So yeah, that's my review. Um, go get you one. Later, man.